And now, fellas, I want you to meet a guy who is one of our most prolific songwriters. He's turned out his great hits as Blues in the Night, Black Magic, Tangerine, Dearly Beloved, Lazy Bones, Strip Polka. And here he is in person, Johnny Mercer. Well, Johnny, welcome to Mail Call. Well, thanks, Jackson. And hi, men. You know, Brother Benny, that's a pretty big build-up you gave me there. Oh, it was nothing, Johnny, just words. I'm full of baloney, kid, you know. <laughs> Without kidding, you really deserve a build-up. Songwriting is hard work. Yes, sir, look at me. I'm nothing but skin and bone. You said it. If you ever took that hanger out of your coat, down you'd go, brother. <laughs> well, what's holding you up, Pappy? <laughs> Bobby socks. Uh, what are you going to do for us tonight, Johnny? That is, if I may change the subject. Huh? Well, I'd like to do a little tune I just knocked off called G.I. Jive. G.I. Jive, eh? Hit it, Johnny. This is a G.I. Jive. Man alive. It starts with the bugler blow and reveille over your bed when you arrive. Jack, that's the G.I. Jack. Rudely toot, jump in your suit, make a salute. Boot! After you wash and dress, more or less, you go get your breakfast in a beautiful little cafe they call the Mist. Jack, when you convalesce, out of your seat, into the street, make with the feet, reach. If you're a PVP, your duty is to salute the L I E U T. But if you brush the L I E U T, the L P makes you K P on the Q T. This is the T I D I man alive. They give you a private tank that features a little device called Fluid Drive. Jack, after you revive, chunk all your junk back in the trunk, fall on your bunk, clunk. Call your junk back in the trunk and fall on your boot. clunk. Soon you're pouting, Jesus. But before you pound to five, seems to right back digging the G. I Well, Johnny Mercer, really solid if you dig me, Johnson. All right. Thank you, Jackson. By the way, I thought you were supposed to do a sketch with Judy Garland on the program tonight. Oh, with Judy? The sketch? 
Well, I don't know. Well, what's the matter? Something go wrong? Well, not exactly. You see, I contacted Judy yesterday to rehearse and... Oh, let's forget it. No, what happened? What happened? Oh, it's not important. Judy's a good kid and all that, but... Well, what happened? What happened? What happened? I wanted Judy to do a scene with me tonight, so I called her at her studio. Naturally, I was anxious to work with her. I don't know, she's so talented. <laughs> Hello, Metro Goldwyn Mayor? Yes? I'd like to talk to Miss Garland, please. Judy Garland. I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to disturb her. She's on the set. Oh, it'll be perfectly all right. I'm an old friend of hers. Oh, but why didn't you say so, Mr. Rooney? <laughs> I said an old friend, not a short one. <laughs> this is this is Jack Benny. Whose friend did you say you were? Jack Benny. I mean, I'm Jack Bennett. I'm nobody's friend. I mean, I'm a friend of Miss Garland. Jack Garland. I mean, Judy Garland. <laughs> My goodness, what trouble you go through to get someone at a studio. And... Oh, you're Jack Benny? Yes. Well, gee, I'm sorry I infringed on your nickel. Sorry. <laughs> I'll give you the set. Thanks. Uh, one moment, please. I'm a fine operator. I'd have gotten better service if I dialed a coffee grinder. <laughs> Hello, stage three. I'd like to speak to Miss Garland, please. Okay, I'll... Oh, would you hold the line a minute? She's going to shoot a scene right now. I'll wait. All right, everybody. Quiet. We're rolling. I wonder how long I'll have to wait. All right, Miss Garland. Start talking as you open the door. Action. Oh, Robert. Robert, darling. What an actress. What pathos. Robert, my love. What feeling? Who's Robert? <laughs> oh, Robert, darling, kiss me. It's been so long since I've seen you. Kiss me, Robert. Don't speak, just kiss me. Mmm. Gee. Kiss me again, darling. Oh, boy, that was a long one. <laughs> Robert, kiss me again to make up for all the time we've been separated. Mm. Mm. Oh, my darling, just once more. Mm. <laughs> Very good, Miss Garland. Very good. Mm. Uh, Miss Garland, woman on the telephone. Oh, thank you. Hello? Hello? Hello, who's calling? Tell me, who's calling? I can't. My lips are stuck in the mouth, please. <laughs> I said, I... It's all right now. <laughs> Judy. Uh, Judy, I'd like to ask you a little favor. Would you... Just a minute. Who is this? Uh, can't you guess? Well, really, I haven't the slightest idea. Oh, come on, guess. Well, uh... I'll give you a hint. Who used to have the dressing room next to yours? Oh, hello, Rosalind. <laughs> I'm not Rosalind Russell. Look, Rosalind's dressing room was on one side of yours. Now, who was on the other side? That was the washroom. <laughs> Only part of it. <laughs> Judy. Uh, Judy, this is Jack Benny. Oh, Jack, how are you? I'm fine, Judy. And I called you Yes, to... I know, Jack. I'm awfully sorry, but I had to buy my Christmas cards from somebody else this year. <laughs> I'm not calling about that. Now, uh, listen, listen, Judy, the reason I called you, you see, I'm going to be on the mail call program with you tomorrow. Yes. And I thought as long as fate had thrown us together, <laughs> I thought that maybe we could do a scene from your picture for me and my gal. Oh, but, Jack, I don't remember any part in that picture that fits you. Oh, sure, Judy. You know, the man you're in love with. Oh, yes, I know, but that part was played by Gene Kelly, and he's only 28 years old. What difference does five or six years <laughs> I can make up to look as old as him. Really, I can. <laughs> Uh, 
Now, look. <laughs> look, Judy. Well, all right, Jack. You come over to my house tonight at 8 o'clock, and we'll run through the scene. Okay, see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, by the way, Judy, shall I come for dinner? Oh, well, some other time. <laughs> 